I want to say greetings to everyone and thank you all so much for joining us this morning for our uh, daily devotion and for uh, the prayer that we'll bring before the Lord. I pray that you have been blessed and uh, I pray also that your prayer life have been enhanced and that um, you feel um, strengthened with your new prayer life and that the Lord is really uh, speaking to you and so we're just grateful to even be able to have this opportunity to come before the Lord with you and, and pray and I ask again that as you uh, as you hear me pray that you will be praying with me as well and that we are standing together uh, in in prayer concerning things so I'm going to read a scripture here in the fifth chapter of the book of first John concerning prayer and uh, I'm start reading at verse 14, the fifth chapter of 1 John, verse 14 says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. So you see what that says there, that this is the confidence that we have in him. So when we pray, we're supposed to pray with confidence. We're not supposed to pray like, um, you know, we don't know whether or not we're going to get what we're asking for or we don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, your faith is the evidence. You see that? Your faith is. And so when we come to the Lord, we're supposed to have confidence. And it says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask, and that's that word if there is a big if. If we ask anything according to his will, what does he do? He hears us. Now. It says that because there is a such thing as adding, asking for something that's not according to his will. And many people do that. They they have in their minds what they want, and they really don't care whether or not it will get or go against the plan of God for their lives. It's just, I want what I want, and I want it now. So, let me just say this. Something can be God's will, but not be in God's timing right now, and it's still against his will. So God can have something for you, but since you live in time, uh, if it is not God's timing for it, or if it's the wrong time for it, then it's against his will. So you can't pray and ask the Lord, Lord, give me what I want. Lord, give me this, or Lord, give me that. And you haven't prayed and asked the Lord, Lord, is it time? You see that? So the most important thing that I see in this scripture says, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. It's very important that we know the will of God. You see that? It's, it's very important that we know the will of God. And when we know the will of God, then we can pray according to that will. So the first thing we need to do is pray and ask God what is his will. Now, that's, that's a hard one for some people. Praying and asking God what is his will. What is your will, Lord? And then once the Lord revealed to you his will, then you pray according to his will. So you got three steps there. You got praying to ask God what his will is. And then you pray according to God's will. You see, and ask, really asking God uh, what is the timing. Uh, and there are several things that go on with that. You know, not only uh, what is the timing, but am I prepared for your will? And so many people... They pray and they, they may get God's will and, and God may reveal something to them. To them. Now, I, I have found that that's one of the biggest areas that Christians struggle in is knowing the will of God, but not knowing the timing of God. And they just, you know, they I guess they just feel like, well, since I know the will of God, then it must mean right now. God, why would God show that to me and then want me to wait? Well, you know... <laughs> Again, God doesn't live in time, and he expects us to be able to handle what we know, you see. And so that's one of the biggest things that I have found that people struggle with, believers struggle with, is knowing the will of God, but not, not being patient enough to, to uh, see the will of God come to pass in their lives. They just feel like because they know something, then it must supposed to, that means that it's supposed to happen right now, or I'm going to try to make it happen. And I'm going to tell you. I have seen up close and personal, people know the will of the Lord, and they fight for it, fight for it, and try to make things happen, and then they end up messing it up. 
I mean, completely, where although it was the will of God, it'll never come to pass. I've seen people do that. I've seen people do that over and over and over. Just, I know the will of God. I'm going to fight to try to make it happen. And, and, and when they get in flesh and try to make things happen, it doesn't happen. You see that? It doesn't. And no matter how you pray about it now, it's like that thing is, is out of your reach. And the Lord's not going to go out of his way to give it to you because you've set some other things in motion. You see that? You've added up. You Don't, don't blame the devil for it. You blocked it. You see that? You blocked it because of your, your own stubbornness, your own hard-headedness. And so it's important that when we pray and ask God what his will is, that we also pray according to that will. And praying according to that will also includes us um, praying and asking the Lord what time, you know, what is the time. I believe, I believe with my whole heart that if God showed me something, and I know that it's him, and I know that, that it's him showing that to me, I believe with my whole heart that he'll bring it to pass. I don't believe in making moves before it's time. I don't care what it is, because I, me personally, I don't have my own ambitions when it comes to the will of God. I just, I, God tell me to do something, I'll do it. I don't, I'm, I don't get overly excited because I understand it's all God's plan and he's the one that's going to have to make these things happen. So I don't, to me personally, I don't, I don't, I'm not on this side or the other side with it. I'm just straight down the middle. I just, you know, whatever God's will is, that's, that's what'll happen. You see that now when I know what God's will is, I pray according to God's will, but I can promise you, I'm not going to do backflips to, to bring it to pass what I couldn't think of to begin with you see that is that to me that's all according to God and that's that's what God uh that's what his job is you see and I and I just be obedient and walk in whatever he tell me to walk in so the last part of that verse says if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us you see that he heareth us and so uh, another thing we want to point out is concerning timing is there's a reason why uh, the Lord uh, does things in a certain time. A lot of times w when the Lord shows us something and we make the mistake of thinking because he showed it to us or because it's been revealed to us that we're ready for it. And that's not necessarily the case. You see that? God, uh, are you ready for what God has shown you? Just because he's shown it to you don't mean that you're ready for it. And so... If God, even if God did grant it right now, you, you just mess it up the same way you're trying to mess it up by hurrying God alone. You see, and of course, God's not moved by emotions, your whining and all that. He, he's not moved by that. You know, he, he's not moved by that at all. He, he has things set in place to happen at a certain time and you're not going to move him to make and to make him speed it up. You see that? Why? Because he knows it's too many other factors involved. And because of our limited brain and our limited mind and because we're not God we don't know all of the other factors that can can and can interrupt what God has down the road if, if we speed things along and so we find out the hard way that when we try to speed things along we're just adding to that you see that we're just adding to those factors and so we know that if we ask anything according to his will that he hears us now, it's not enough to just to know God's will, but you also have to know the timing of that will. And that, because that's all a part of his will. You can say, well, Lord, I know it's your will for me to have a house. But if God have dictated that you don't have a house to 2020, then it's not your will, it's not his will that you have it in 2019. So you can't speed, you can't rush God in it. You see that? So anything you're doing before then, it's against God's will, you see. So yes, it may be God's will for you to have a house or a husband or a wife, whatever the case may be. Now, all those things might be according to his will. But if it's not time yet, then it's against his will. And anything you do to try to rush it with all of that, that you, you, know, you, know, you know what you do. <laughs> You're just being against his will. And you think, oh, well, you know, I, I, you know, I know that this is, what he want for me and things like that. It may be. It is my intention. When I had children. And they were really small. 
I I knew one day they all have a car, and it was my intention. You see that that they all have a vehicle. But what kind of father would I be to give a vehicle to a a, a one year old or two year old? What what good is it going to do for them? You see that can they can they handle that yet? No, why? Because they're not mature in their minds yet to be able to handle that. It's too much that goes on with driving for their mind to be able to even comprehend that. You see that. And and so I wouldn't be a good father if I handed my car keys over to my two year old or three year old. You see that I wouldn't be a good father, not knowing that they're not ready for that. And and neither would God be a good father to you if he handed you something that you weren't ready for. So don't don't rush God or don't try to rush God. You see that? So verse fifteen says, And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So, let me read that again. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So we know you can know God's will and you can pray, Lord, please bless me with that. I believe that you're hearing me because I know that this is your will and, and bless me with that. But look at how that's worded. We have the petitions that we desire of him. In other words, if God had revealed something to you, you have to walk by faith and know that it's already yours. You already have the petition that you've desired of him. But along with that, it, know that it may not manifest until God say so. Yeah, it's yours. But don't, don't, you know, <laughs> don't get mad because it's, it, you, it's not yours naturally just yet. You see that? And you have to understand that God does not live in time. Whatever he has for you, it's it. he has it for you. It's just for you. You see that? It's yours. But are you willing to wait for it to manifest? That's just it. The same. Healing works the same way. Jesus Christ, everybody that's sick have already been healed according to the word of God. Everybody that's experiencing anything wrong in their bodies, the Lord Jesus Christ have already healed them. But it's your job to grab that by faith and know that regardless of what you see going on in your body is not the manifestation of what Jesus Christ has already done. That you have to know that you're healed before you actually see it. And that's the way it is with anything when you're talking about a prayer life and walking by faith. You have to know that you're healed. You have to know that. You see that? You have to know that. And, that, and and many people, they're dealing with certain things and they're praying and they feel like because they haven't seen it manifested yet that their prayer isn't answered. And then they go back to God with the same old whiny voice and all of that. And you, you're proving to God that you don't believe it. You see that? When you know that you've been given something, when you know that you have the petition that you desire of him, you walk in it. And you're not going back to him all the time just whining like it's not yours. You, if you know that something is God's will, then you and you've prayed about it. You know that He's heard you, and you also know that He has given you your petition. Now, it's your job as a believer to walk in it, and you're not walking in it if you whining and thinking, "Oh, things are not going. They're not going to ever change. Things aren't going to ever change." And you see that? Where's your hope at? Where's your faith? Faith don't faith don't react when it finally sees. The manifestation of something. Faith is there before the manifestation. And so God wants you to know that it's yours. If you've asked something according to his will. And you know without a shadow of a doubt that it's his will. Then it is yours. Your job is to be patient. And to stand on it. And to walk in it. And, 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 and wait for that manifestation. You see that. And know that it's yours. Even before the manifestation takes place. So now let's go to the Lord in prayer and uh, ask some things according to God's will. Amen. So let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for speaking to us. We thank you for your word. And Lord, we ask that you will help us to get in line with your will. Help us, Lord, to have a desire to know what your will is for our lives. God, we pray that you will help us to be patient, Lord, 
and help us to stand strong on faith and on your promises, Lord. Help us to know that we have what we've asked for according to your will. But help us, Lord, to not be impatient. Help us not to faint in our minds just because we have not seen the manifestation of it just yet. Lord, help us to know that our faith brings about the manifestation. Our standing on it is what brings about the manifestation. And God, I pray for every individual that's listening in or that's watching that have been praying, Lord, and according to your will that may not have seen the manifestation yet. I pray, Lord, that you will strengthen them this morning, help them to hold on to the things that they've been praying for, Lord. Help them to know that they have been heard. Help them to know that it is done, Lord, but also help them to hold on until it is fulfilled in this natural realm. We pray for every parent that have been praying over their children, Lord, to give them hope, Lord, and help them to know that at one time we all were walking astray. Some of us may have been worse than others in our own eyesight, Lord, but sin is sin in your eyes, and we pray that you will help us as parents to hold on and to Continue to believe for the change in our children. And Lord, I also pray uh, for those that have been uh, praying for their relatives, Lord, to get saved and to commit their lives to you. Lord, I pray that you will help us to be uh, vessels of honor. Lord, help us to live a life, Lord, that will spark something in others, Lord, to want what we have, and that's you. Help us, Lord, to live a life in such a way that we rub off on others, Lord, and that your Holy Spirit uh, bear witness to the change in our lives. These and other blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, so we want to say thank you all so much for joining us, and we uh, are so grateful to the Lord again for uh, his blessings and his word and his hearing our prayers. And again, we say that if you... Uh, received a petition of yours that you would share your testimony with us so that we could share it with others and uh, that also that if you want us to pray with you concerning anything that you would email us so that we can pray with you and stand together with you by faith that you'll receive your petitions amen so with that being said we want to say have a good rest of the day and may God's blessings be with you